Okay, the first layers of paint are going on now. Not sure what the backdrop's going to be though. It's supposed to be the same colour as the front, but I probably make it slightly different so that I can get a light on it. It's just starting to take shape now. Um, we are now at the centre of the rubbish attack and from next week we should be starting to get over that hump and um, past the dirty stage and then getting into one shorter time uh, sort of stuff and so that's what I'm hoping we'll just get this painted up today for a start and then uh, we'll carry on okay everybody we're back in the welcome full time now it's early morning and uh, I had a little night off last night after coming back from Bower so now I'm afraid these are probably gonna have to get smashed up today because we haven't got room for them although we might save the lights and now I'm going into the roof to start pulling down the old false roof in order to make room for some extra theatre lighting we are at uh, nearly the most untidy that will be uh, the clock tower is just having there's going to be the um they're going to be made out of vinyl but those there'll be two panthers there like black panthers like in the show not sure we're going to paint that yet um so we've got indoor fireworks which are cold sparks you can put your hand in them which is weird indoor fireworks extra um a big effect lighting plus theatre lighting and all that's going to be added today oh sorry <laughs> over the next couple of days so that's what we're going to this old fault ceiling i'm going to take part of it out and put a bar in the roof and then hang the lights from that so let's see what we get so kieran's um started to program all the new lights we put back up We've, we've limped through with three of these working and now I've spent some money on my own money and we've got eight back working and that's nice. I just thought we needed to get them done so I've just got them done. We've also got lasers to put up and stuff yet but over here, there he is, <laughs> the smoke machine's just gone off again faulty. There's Kieran, he's took a long lead into the audience, I'll show you in a minute. What are you doing Kieran? Uh, so I'm currently just uh, playing with the lights. You're practicing? Uh, just programming. Yeah, programming different things to see what we can create effects wise. Obviously not for this song. <laughs> and why not? I love this song. Me too, but we're not doing anything at this show this year. How do you know? I put in just because I like it. <laughs> That's fair. That's a very good comment. I started to spot out things on the floor and then once obviously all these props are out of the way, everything will make more sense. Just with full, the stage is full of props at the moment. And here, started to tidy up actually. Kelly's done a brilliant job. She just started to do the tidy up. But we've decided that we may rearrange the dressing room completely. We might smash everything out and start again because as the shows have got bigger we're struggling in regards to uh, where we get all the costumes in and have eight people in here we're struggling all of these old units are broken now so what we're thinking of doing is getting rid of the whole of this completely and putting costume cubicles on there like that and then we'll put the mirror over here probably somewhere like that that's what we're thinking of doing we're doing most of it ourselves It's very difficult to pick lasers up on these actually. But um, there'll be lots of them bouncing back off the mirrors and stuff like we showed you early on. It's now putting it all together now. Quite a lot. We're putting a lot more light in this year. Kieran's still playing over there, as you see. And um, we need it because we're actually going to be doing a lot of the theatrical stuff, so we need to take it up a gear. So, we need gobos and we need all sorts of uh, effects. Just, um, and we'll have, we'll have an experiment with them as we are now, but we need to start clearing the stage and going for one show at a time, because it's just hard at the moment. We start messing up a bit more and then we tidy up a little more. Thank you. And then once we do that, uh, you smash your things up. Taking apart a prop so we can possibly repurpose it. In other words, you're smashing things up. Well, I'm, I'm, well, I'm, 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 I'm unscrewing <laughs> things. I'm unscrewing <laughs> things up. <laughs> Kelly, what are you doing? Ah. 
tested out new props. Go on then. I do I'm filming so. then, that's funny. Were you? Yeah. I've got a coffee, look. Serious look, genuinely. We don't talk about days off. Hi, Heather! Hello, Heather! Who's that? No, she's not gone yet. No, no, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Are you going now? Bye bye. Everybody, guess where Heather's going today? Where's she going, Kelly? Heather's going to find out the gender of our little grandbaby. Oh, it's <laughs> What do you want? Are you hoping for something? Yeah, baby. Baby. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah. That'd be really good because if you got a frog, it could be really embarrassing. That. Hopefully not in the toilet. It's been a while. <laughs> Kelly's kitchen tune. Kitchen tune. Kitchen. I said. I said that Kelly's kitchen tune. Kitchen Kieran. Actually, if you've been watching the vlogs, you'll see now that there's actually a stage. We have found one. Yeah, it does. That's um, that's the one. Okay, I have absolutely no idea what's going on here. I know it looks wrong, but I just see Seymour. Tell me that you will. I'm shiny. You're incredibly shiny. Shiny. Oh, as we start to take the stickers off the front, the protective, Kelly starts to become more and more shiny. Mirabelle. The only thing is, there's stickers on every single one. Yeah. Yeah, which is loads of fun, especially when Kelly starts to move. And we've got four of these costumes. Must be friends. I want to hear this. Feed me. Yeah. Does it have to be human? Feed me. Does it have to be mine? Feed me. Where am I supposed to get it? Love this song. Kelly Sweat. Oh, man. Oh, man. She's found a new thing. What's this? Turn round. Ready? There must be someone you get Oh yeah! We're taking them off individually. <laughs> that is mad. That's crazy. Quick! He dies in his gas mask. That's really funny. Oh, I've just said that on the thing. Okay, he does. Yes, he does though. <laughs> You're going to be like a sparkly mirror ball on legs. <laughs> that's quite a lot of lasers on the stage at the moment, and that's only two of the four up. And what you see in there is actually nearly all of the stage. That's <laughs> basically it. You can see the edge of the curtain just there. It's a lot laser. Got four of them. So today we're trying to overcome the problem that we have with the sizing of Little Shop of Horrors. We've got two enormous plants and a lot of little ones and a lot of set, which is over here a lot of set. And we're trying to overcome the problems, otherwise I'll have to scrap the show and I do not want to do that. Okay, Kieran is now here. I'm going to talk to the camera and see that now. Yeah, especially with a bit of smoke on. that um, curse out of them. <laughs> I'll have to bleep that bit. We 
music you can hear in the background is that one over there, look. Unexpected, but you have that. <laughs> There's one of the hand puppets. And we have lots of stuff here. So we've been organising all morning and now we're uh, lighting. Let's have a look. That's Kieran still doing lights. That's the interior of the shop. One of our old windows which you've already seen, which we've made look older. That's going to be part of the set for Skid Row. The new lighting which was installed yesterday is going to be out. And there's Kieran working it at the back. And then look, there's that loony at the back as well. difficult than the creative jobs. I'm not very good at it. But it's something that just needs to be done and uh, getting it back to where it should be, touching it up. So I'm going to go all, all along the stage. It's masked off at the front so it looks really neat at the, at the moment. But uh, there's a groove with a wood underneath and it makes it look dreadfully uneven whatever I do. Whichever way I paint it there's a, there's a sort of groove going through the middle with lights. And the problem with that is just brush splash, make it bad. But I'm just going to black it back out so it should look it should look a lot better. Okay, it's masked out and taped. The difficulty is from this angle anyway. You can see on top of the wood there. Fortunately, I can't paint inside of that because that's where the lights are. So it should be all right from another angle. All of that. It's been masked out and painted, so it should look a bit better anyway. See, from the guest's point of view, it's um, it's much better. A lot of that, um, it's just a silly little job that just needed to be done. So, next job, I'm just slapping on uh, paint to cover uh, stands now. Uh, the stands, part of the stands for the Saturday show. So um, basically, you slap as much as you can on these just to make sure that it's sort of blacked out really. once that's done. Um, then we can re put them together. These are for giant mirrors, as you might have saw in an earlier vlog. Uh, it doesn't matter if this goes on, it just literally needs to be completely slapped on left to dry and make sure that they're completely blacked out because it does really really help the effect um, if they're blacked out properly so I'll just keep going boring I mean I've only got another 10 to do Jeez. Okay, so a boring job later painting all the stands stuff that people won't even generally see but that's the idea really <laughs> you know see so I've got a couple more to do but can't do them actually on my own. I need to get the guys in to, um, so I can uh, get them off the big giant mirrors, which is what all, all of those you see there now were. They sticking out on the black, so they basically need just painting. You see, so that's the idea of what those are. Okay, another job done. Beautiful day here again here in sunny Devon. It's beautiful as you can see. I'm um, quite impressed with that area now, it's all been cleaned up, it looks fantastic. People are asking me about um, wheelchair access, as you can see there is a massive big bank there all the way up to the club has been put in and then on the other side of wherever this ends up being with the chairs and tables there's also another drop curb, curb there on the side, so just so you let you know. I've just been in the club to try and film 
some uh, instas, just little tiny Instagrams. Uh, we're trying to do a massive push to see if we can find this last elusive single lad. We've had some people who are, you know, some good applicants who are not actually kind of what we're looking for. We're looking for a guy um, uh, rather experience or no experience but as long as they've got a really really good singing voice need to sing quite high also because uh, some of the parts that we've got and that's it's, it's proven very difficult because we get some singers who are not actually right for the job or um, we're trying our best so I've been doing that and I put lots of lots of adverts out this morning again uh, this was filmed Sunday morning which will be today because I'm actually going to put the vlog out today so um, Hopefully we'll find some when we start rehearsals next week and we're in full on mode. I think tomorrow's going to be a busy day. I'm back in the club very early tomorrow. And uh, well, we'll see what happens, shall we? Wish us luck. Everybody who's out there in our land, just share it with every student or every theater arts kid. There must be a great kid out there somewhere waiting for this fantastic job opportunity. Um, oh, it's a wonderful opportunity. They have their own accommodation and everything. It's incredible. And they're gonna get taught uh, by professionals how to be a pro in the business or if people who are already, um, if they're already experienced, this is a fantastic job for them. Anyway, I'll sign off for now as we start back into final preps and prop builds tomorrow. So I'll vlog that also. Bye for now.